All right, I'm gonna do my best to try and describe kind of how to pick your gears out here. So we're, this, this, this will apply for all, all, all trucks, right? Anything you buy, but we're gonna base it off the 7.3 Godzilla since it's what most of my channel's about. There's its max torque. Here's the torque in the RPM we're gonna base our power numbers off of to try and base this. And this calculations were done on a 33 inch tire. You're offered 355s, 373s, or 430s, right? Let's start with uh, 355s. So now, if we go to the 355s, let me try and clear this up here. Your first gear in that 10R140 is a 4.61 4 to, 4 to 1 ratio. We care about first gear, we care about our 1 to 1, which is 7th in there. And we care about our 10th gear, which is your, I think it's a... Well, one to one, that's three overdrive gears, but that's our final drive right there. It's 0.63, right? So, <clears throat> first gear at 450 foot pounds at 2,500 RPM at the, at the output shaft to the transmission, right? We're going to produce 2,074 foot pounds of torque of twist at the output of the transmission at 450 foot pounds of torque, right? So you got 450, we've got our 461 first gear ratio at 2,500 RPMs at 2,000 foot-pounds of torque, you'll obtain 15 miles an hour, right? So go seventh, one to one, we're at 450. Now I didn't, I didn't, I'm not trying to figure out parasitic loss here. This is strictly for reference of power. So your numbers will be, it might be quite a bit, quite a bit different, but this is kind of a rough idea. So you can kind of guess where you want to be. Um, so you're one to one. You're going to be at 450 foot-pounds of torque at the output shaft of the transmission. You'll be at 69, just about 70 miles an hour. Tenth gear, um, you have loss because you're at, a, you're at an overdrive, right? And you're at 283 foot-pounds of torque on the output of the transmission. With the 355 ratio, so that's another application, right? So you're, you multiply this torque by your 355, which is another, it's a reduction gear, so you go up in torque. So at the axle shaft, axle shaft, right? If we do our calculations right, which they could be horribly wrong, but this is, hang on, I'm not, this is an actual dyno number, so this is kind of to guess. So at the axle shaft, so the inside of your axle shaft, you'd be making 7,300 foot-pounds of torque in first gear, almost 1,600 in seventh gear, which is your one-to-one, -one, and tenth gear, you'd be at 1,000. A rough calculation for a 33-inch tire, because you've got, like the way torque works, right? You push on the outside of here, you've got more twist on the inside. So there's your axle shaft, here's the outside of your 33 inch tire. The rough calculation on that, <coughs> dog is crazy, is 2,677 foot pounds at the tire at the ground, right? In first gear, the 461 ratio going through a 355 gear. You got 580 in seventh, 365 in 10th. And like in 10th gear, look at that, 109 miles an hour at 2,500 RPM. Let's go to 373s. That's our next jump. Same deal, 461. If you lose mileage um, with 373s, so you're at 14.28 miles an hour in first gear. Um, but you go up in torque, 2813 to 610 to 383, right? Um, 65 and 1 to 1. And that's a pretty happy place to be towing. You got good power, you got decent speed. Um, you know, you're not creating a, a, your overdrive gears will, they kind of tend to create heat because your speed is so high on those gears, right? But um, at 2,500 RPM, same deal, 104.79. It's not a huge jump, but a significant amount, and you, you're gaining some foot pounds right there in that one to one where we care about towing mostly, right? And uh, your cruising speed, you gain a little horsepower. So now you're towing big and heavy. Let's go to a 430. Now that 430, a 373 to a 430 is a big jump. A 430 to 355 is a huge jump. So let's go to kind of our torque numbers here. So first gear is only going to take you to 12 miles an hour. 57 at that one at that one to one at 2500 RPM, and only 90 at 2500. Right, but we're at 442 foot pounds of torque. 703 at the one on one to one. And three two, three two four two. Okay, so now you gotta you gotta think these numbers they seem crazy, right? But we're working backwards. We're baselining our engine power. 
I have not accounted for parasitic loss, right? So these numbers are going to be not very accurate. They, you know, you can have up to 10%. Look at this dog for a second. What is she doing? Anyways, you can have up to 10% loss. So these are these are rough numbers to kind of ballpark. And people are like, 3,200 foot-pounds of torque? No way. Well, you've got two huge reductions, right? You've got a reduction gear right there in your first. And you've got a reduction gear at the rear end, right? So that's why your torque gets amplified. It's just like any basic old torque um, application, right? So your torque gets amplified. And now think about this number. This is how you need to think about this. This is, um, if you lock that transmission up in first gear, that's how much uh, torque it would take to kill that thing, right? First gear, think about it. it you know, you you never start even the fullest, heaviest of loads. You're never starting out in first gear full throttle, right? And so that's why you don't see full throttle applications till sometimes one to one if you're super heavy or in your overdrives, right? Where you're needing all that power because you've got such a loss coming through. So obviously, if you're towing super heavy, this is this is your go-to, right? And uh, it's going you you you. <clears throat> There's a significant amount of less stress on the transmission in a situation like this under heavy towing, right? Vance, what are you doing? Come here. Quit being a fruit. So now, but the other thing that, that this is this is good if you're towing all the time, but like let's look at the let's look at our cruising speeds for MPG roughly, right? So there's 2,500 RPM and 75 miles an hour. 75 miles an hour is your rough average highway speed um, for driving down the highway, right? So your 355s will put you at 76 miles an hour at 1700, and that's right. That's decent power. That's where your torque curve really starts to pick up. You're well over 400 and some foot pounds with the Godzilla, um, um, right about there. So you can maintain a good speed and you have good power, not be shifting all the time. So that puts the 76 miles an hour, pretty low RPM. You're going to roll pretty decent fuel mileage right there, right? To roll kind of that same fuel mileage, it's going to cut you back to 73 with the 373s only 63 miles an hour with the 430. You want to maintain 76 miles an hour with a 430, you're at 2100. But if you're towing, that's right, in the, that's right in the power where you want to be. So if you want to run down the highway fully loaded like that all the time, that's kind of where you want to be. But if you're concerned about fuel mileage, right, a 373 is a happy medium for a weekend warrior, camper kind of a guy. This is your contractor pulling skid steers every day. And this is your pulling light to smaller campers, but you're driving this truck a lot for work. Um, you know, you're putting on 60 to 70% of your mileage without a trailer. Now, if we go back to the videos that I have made, that first video of mine, I weighed over 24,000 pounds and went through the mountains at 355, with 355 gears and did not have a problem. And so people are like, well, why don't you, why don't we um, account for these middle gears in here, right? We've got six gears missing in here and three right there. Well, we care about finals first and then your low, because that's where you see the big difference, right? In between here, so you actually, like, let's say, the, this, the 370, 355, you're going to have a bigger percentage jump between gears, right? So that's a bigger percentage. Um, gosh, well, I don't have my calculator in here, but... Your percentages are higher right there from jump to jump. So if you've got 355s, you're going to see the power difference when starting, and you're going to see a power difference in the end. But these middle gears, you can kind of you can you can account for very similar ratios to these, you know, like let's say third gear here might be close to a fifth gear and a 430, but those middle speeds aren't aren't as big of a deal. We're, we're not worried about them as much as we are low speed. Are kind of wanting to tow speed and our, our cruising speeds, right? And so that's one cool thing about the 10 speed is if you get a 373 or a 355, it's not like the old four speeds where that jump is going to be absolutely huge between the difference, right? The 430, it is going to keep you in the power a little better, but look at the flat towing curve of the of the torque curve of the 7.3. You're going to get along okay. Um, so <clears throat> I hope this helps somebody, but I would give the 430s to towing every day, and you're going to cruise down the highway all the time, loaded, um, and, and you want to do that. The 355s, I'd say you do more empty than towing, but I have proven with my truck that the 355s, you, you can you can move a huge amount of weight if you still need to. 
I had a truck with 373s. I got along, I found that to be quite a happy medium. The truck would still pull pretty good fuel mileage, but did have a little bit of a more uh, advantage over the 355s. So I hope this helps somebody out, um, but I get this question a lot. So this is, and like I said, these numbers are relative. This is not done on a dyno. These are calculations working backwards from 450 flywheel torque um, through, through, and I, it's not accounted for parasitic loss. So don't get all technical on me, but this is kind of is more or less just to represent how how your torque numbers are going to change with that final drive ratio, right? And your speeds and things like that. So there, th 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 there's your video strictly addressing that. But like, here's your speeds. This is very rough. I'm not a mathematician, but <clears throat> based off of my calculations. You're pretty darn close. You're probably within 10 to 15 percent of these numbers. Um, so after you can calculate parasitic loss and things like that. But so there you go. That's um, that's your rough my my rough two cents on how to kind of select your gear ratio.